Gastroparesis. I have a passion for treating gastroparesis and working with Dr. Gopal on clinical trials and new treatment options available for patients with gastroparesis. What is gastroparesis? Gastroparesis, also called delay gastric emptying, slows or stops the movement of food from the stomach to the small intestine. Symptoms may be mild or severe. Gastroparesis or problems with stomach emptying. Your stomach provides storage of food, breakdown of larger particles into smaller particles known as chyme. Once your stomach breaks down the particles, strong muscular contractions push the foods toward the pyloric valve, which delivers chyme to the upper portion of your small intestine. Gastroparesis is a condition that affects the normal spontaneous movement of the muscles motility in your stomach. What are the risk factors for gastroparesis? Diabetes, abdominal or esophageal surgery, infection, certain medications, nervous system diseases such as Parkinson's disease or multiple sclerosis, scleroderma. Gastroparesis symptoms include early satiety, heartburn, bloating, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, poor appetite, and weight loss. Misdiagnosed, gastroparesis is a common condition in people who have had diabetes for a long time. Commonly misdiagnosed as GERD, gallbladder disease, IBS, cyclical envy, and gastritis. Complications of gastroparesis, severe dehydration, malnutrition, undigested food that hardens and remains in the stomach, unpredictable blood sugar changes, and also decreased quality of life. Some patients may benefit from medications and other treatment options, including the following. Why participate in a clinical trial? Clinical trials provide participants with access to cutting edge treatment options, access to the best care at no cost, a clinical staff that will closely monitor health and well-being of a patient. Learn more about clinical trials or see if you qualify for the gastroparesis study. Please contact Cynthia Buda at 904-680-0871 or go to ebgcr.com slash contact. For the most updated list of clinical trials, go to ebgcr.com.